Calling this meeting of the Fawn Circle Council for January 6th, 1983 to order. For the sake of brevity, I am waiving the roll call and the Pledge of Allegiance so that we can complete the meeting as soon as possible. According to what I can see, all council members are present. May I have a second council member confirm this? Second. City Clerk, please make a note of it. We all would like to get out of here as soon as possible before the storm hits. As such, I am striking items 7, 9, and 10 from the agenda to instead be discussed at our next meeting on Tuesday, January 11th. These would be discussing the funding for repavement of Mendota Street this summer, the report on how the new after-school sports program is proceeding, and the petition to open a Kmart store in the vacancy next to SID's Electronics Boutique on Chippewa Road. Any opposed to this postponement? And we will discuss these topics on the 11th. Let's move into the agenda. First and foremost, Minneapolis has sadly denied our request for additional snowplows. They want to keep them on hand in case the blizzard turns and hits them, but as soon as the storm is clear, they'll send them out to help with the cleanup. Preparations need to be made to prioritize emergency services to be plowed first, the hospital, the fire station, that sort of thing. We'd like to coordinate with the police on this, but apparently somebody decided not to pay the phone bill because there's still no word from them unless the representative from the police headquarters would like to speak up. After the conclusion of this meeting, I'm going to head over to the station to find out what's going on with them. If the police aren't here to conduct their duties, we should just move on. Now, I believe Mr. Darren Frederick from Channel 83 wished to address us again and update us about the signal interruptions. Hello, Mr. Mayor, Councilman. I'm Melinda Norvik, the creative director at K83FC. I know Darren was supposed to speak to you today, but he was sadly unavailable. I've been asked to speak on behalf of the station instead. Go ahead, Melinda. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I wanted to take this opportunity to explain to you all why we've been having so many problems with the signal hijackings. For instance, the one that we had with someone seeming to be filming outside of Sid's Electronics Boutique. When we receive material for commercials or shows to be broadcast, it's reviewed by our editors and producers to ensure that it complies with state and federal guidelines for transmission. Now, the signal hijackings occur because somehow someone has a transmitter stronger than our own and uses it primarily during late night since the late shift at the station has so few personnel. Now, after Darren appeared before you, we decided to have several producers on hand to oversee that night and we've continued to have more personnel on hand to watch what happens and do something about it. If that's the case, Ms. Novak, why was there still a hijacking? Why not just cut the broadcast for a few minutes given it's so late at night? And that's what I was getting to, Councilman. We can't just shut off our broadcast because they're still broadcasting their transmission at the same frequency. We have to stop it by increasing power on our own, which is more expensive, hence one of the reasons for our stimulus request. And we'll discuss that more in a minute. Please, continue. Well, this is where it gets strange, Mr. Mayor. As I said, we had several producers on hand to observe the hijacking in progress, just in case someone at the station was helping them or anything. When the hijacking occurred, we quickly got to work boosting power enough to override their signal. However, when we reviewed the tape of the material we were supposed to broadcast during that time, we discovered something odd. Define odd. The transmission the hijacker sent somehow replaced the material on that tape. And before you ask, no, nobody was recording the hijacking on it. The material of the hijacking somehow burned itself into the tape on its own. It sounds to me like you have a practical joker at your station, Ms. Norvik. I'm telling you, council member, there's something strange about all this. I personally was the one who inserted the tape and pulled it out again. Nobody hit record. The tape was just... changed somehow. Rather than worrying about ghosts, let's go back to the issue of stimulus funding. Quite frankly, even if we were to consider this, $75,000 over three months is ludicrous. If you want to proceed forward, you'll have to be a little more realistic in your... Please, everyone, remain calm. It seems we might be ending things a little early today if the power is out. What? What is it? The snow! Look! How? How was the snow covering the doors like that? 
The blizzard only started a few minutes ago. It, it's got to be just on the doors, right? No, we're buried. We're completely buried. Calm down, everyone. Calm down. We'll call 911 for help and try to start digging out of here. Darcy, shut off the equipment and call the police. Right. <laughs> 